Jason Lynn Kelly. We are here with Magic Image Hollywood Magazine. And we have with us three-time Emmy Award winning Jared Xavier. Yeah. Thank you. So great to see you. Yeah. We're excited to talk about your career tonight. And we'd like to know, let's share how you got into the entertainment industry, Jared. Sure. Um, I actually have a background in finance. So mm -hmm. I was not doing anything entertainment related. And one of my friends is, um, he's an R&D musician. Mm -hmm. And he said he, you know, he knew I was good with numbers. So he said, I'd like to you to take care of your finances. Uh, me to take care of his finances. Yeah. So I said, sure. I, why not? And you know, I actually turned that into kind of a management role, okay. and I started helping them book tours. So Sweden, Denmark, Germany, England, France. Mm -hmm. um, brought on more musicians and DJs. Um, I got up to about 200 clients in, in my roster, and then I started producing. And I, I was bringing on actors and actresses, and I okay. started producing to create roles for my my clients. Okay. And you know, 90% of my time was spent on management, whereas 90% mm -hmm. of my income was coming from producing. Yeah. So I kind of made the transition from manager to producer. Um, and since then, you know, I've been independent producer doing film finance, uh, production, uh, mm -hmm. sales. I've done about 100 projects of mm -hmm. movies, TV shows, and web series. And, you know, I've, I've been lucky enough to be an independent producer for about 12 years. Um, wow. You know, and Luckily enough, we, we have won three Emmys for one of the shows that I produced called The Bay on Amazon. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's kind of how I got in. You sound so humble when you say that. So it's the drama series The Bay has yes. been out for 17 nominations. Yes. So Nine Emmy oh. award winning. Yeah. Wow. And yeah, three yeah. Emmys. So that's where you got your three Emmys from. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, so the show's been nominated for 17, won nine, and... So three years in a row, we won Outstanding Drama Series. So okay. each year when you win the Drama Series category, all the producers get, get an Emmy. So luckily enough, we've, we've won three years in a row, and we find out soon if we're going to be nominated a fourth year in a row. Uh, hopefully we'll get some nominations and maybe okay. some wins. Congratulations, I'm sure you will. Let's talk a little bit about your involvement with The Bay. Sure, sure. So I started with Gregory, the creator of The Bay, Gregory J. Martin. Um, I started with him on a, another movie called A Place Called Hollywood. Okay. And um, we had a mutual uh, connection that put us in touch. And I produced the film with him, and it, it was a great film. I really enjoyed it. And we got along really well during the the filming of it, you know, I came on as a producer, and he invited me to join the the Bay, the series. So, um, you know, it, we went from that movie into the Bay pretty quickly. And, you know, there even though there's only three seasons of the Bay on Amazon, mm -hmm. um, we've actually shot five seasons. Wow, okay. So we had to condense a couple of seasons to to fit the format for Amazon. So okay. I came on in season two, and then I did two, three, four, five, and. Now it's just three on Amazon, and then they've actually started shooting season four, which um, I believe they were, they were shooting in Belgium, England, and France. Uh, and then uh, the remainder of season four will be going into production pretty sh shortly here in LA. Congratulations to you. I mean, it is such a hit. It, it, it's the talk of the town in Hollywood, so yeah. amazing. Congratulations Thank to you. you. Thank you. Let's talk a little bit about you and who some of your mentors have been. Sure. Um, you know, I've, I've had a lot of people that I work with that I, I, don't, I don't really want to say who they are, but okay. I've had some very large producers that uh, have kind of taken me under their wing and, and shown me the ropes. Um, you know, there's, there's some guys that I've been working with for a very long time. Um, you know, some of, the, some of the people that I've worked with you know, they were on Mark Wahlberg's team for a long mm. time, 20 plus years. Um, he's, he's showed me a lot of stuff. Uh, another one of my partners, you know, he he studied with Quentin Tarantino. Wow. Um, and, and he's an amazing writer and director, and he went to the UCLA uh, school writing, screenwriting yep. school. Um, you know, I have a lot of mentors that are agents at Way Morris and CAA and UTA and ICM mm -hmm. and all, all the big... Um, big agencies, APA. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, those have been my mentors in the entertainment industry. But you know, another one of my mentors has always been my dad and my mom. They always, 
they always have, have uh, even though they know, might not know the entertainment industry mm -hmm. uh, intimately, they, they have great advice. They're both super intelligent and it, it's always been a good um, crutch to have in, in case I need any advice. Mm, it's always nice to have the support of your family. Yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. huge, especially in this industry. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about your consulting company. You have uh, Safir Entertainment. Safir Entertainment is okay. a production company. Okay. So we do um, we do production for TV and film. Okay. We do finance and sales, so film sales worldwide. Um, okay. You know, we've done tons and tons of films. You know, we've mm -hmm. done I've done. Eight films with Lionsgate, several with Sony, several with Universal. Wow. I just had a theatrically, theatrically released film called Zombies from Broad Green Pictures. Um, I had another one called Altitude um, okay. with Lionsgate, and that was also released uh, theatrically. Um, and that has Dolph Lundgren, Denise Richards, Chuck Liddell, Greer Grammer, Jonathan Lipnicki. Um, yeah, I, I, I worked on a show called MVP, mm -hmm. um, which is, it's a, it's like a reverse shark tank, Okay. but we have, you know, big athletes, so Gronk is the, the core, yeah. um, Gronk is one of the, the panelists, um, and then, you know, we've had Kevin Durant and Chuck Liddell and um, Julius Irving and, I mean, just tons and tons of superstar athletes. Wow. Um, and that's that was a really great experience. You know, we shot it at CBS for Go Ninety. Mm -hmm. um, I've worked on shows for Netflix and Amazon and Hulu, and I mean, <laughs> I had a show on NBC for six years. Um, it's a music show. Yeah, all over the place. So it, it's been a it's been an interesting <laughs> ride. Say the least. Well, I mean, so much success. Obviously, you've uh, you know you're a go getter, very ambitious, and continuing on projects. So let's talk a little bit about the projects that are coming up for you in the future. Sure, sure. So um, I'm not sure if I can speak about all of them, <laughs> uh, but um, so there's there's one that we have in development. Um, one of my partners for this company. This is actually a new company that okay. we joined forces. There's there's seven partners, mm -hmm. um, and one of the partners, he is a booking agent for, for Snoop Dogg and Wu-Tang mm -hmm. and um, uh, uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony and, and a lot of rappers. Okay. Um, um, so he, he actually books Wu-Tang and so we're developing a, a thriller with Wu-Tang right now. Um, hopefully RZA will direct, hopefully maybe 50 Cent will be in it, but all, mm. all of all the members of Wu-Tang have committed to it and hopefully we'll get RZA. And so we're, we're in the process of, you know, punching up that script and then um, we'll probably go into production shortly after. So that's, that's, that's one. Exciting. Um, I have uh, another TV series that I'm working on um, with some big name actors. <laughs> I can't, I'm not supposed, <laughs> you can't to, tell me. You I'm not to, supposed kill to say me. Uh, I get it. all, because, you know, the stuff in development, you legally, we can't release yeah, I understand. who's in it until it's, able to go out and okay. press. Well, we'll come um, back to you yes, and we'll make yes. sure we get uh, you a second time so you yes. can tell us all about it. Um, yeah, and then, you know, we're working on another project. Uh, we're trying to uh, develop, right now, CAA is helping us package. Mm -hmm. um, this one, I again, I can't say who's committed, but we're going after Danny McBride and Will Ferrell. Mm. Um, no commitment, so don't hold me to that. <laughs> um, but yeah, there, there's a lot of projects. You know, we have probably 60 projects in development, from uh, TV series to to web series to to digital content to movies. So okay, always keeping busy. Yes, I see that. Well, having such a you know phenomenal successful career, you've been hitting this hard for about 12 years now. Mm -hmm. So tell me some of your most memorable experiences in this industry in the entertainment business. There's some there's some opportunities that I've had you know where you know you're you're sitting in a room with the, the, just a humongous celebrity and it, it becomes really surreal. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not really starstruck, but there's certain people that I I meet yeah. like you know every once in a while we'll go we'll have Taco Tuesday with Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, that's you know that's kind that's of pretty big. Yeah, that's kind <laughs> of a crazy. It's and, a good and, Taco Tuesday. Yeah, <laughs> and Kevin Connolly will be there or Tobey Maguire, but. Yeah, I mean, it, it, there's just a lot of situations where you don't, you don't realize how cool it is until mm -hmm. like you're in the moment. Um, 
you know, I've gone out with uh, Warren G. He's one of our other um, partners' uh, clients. Going backstage with him, hanging yeah. out with him, um, you know, going on stage with him with, you know, 20,000, even 50,000 people in the crowd. We, we did the same thing. We went to a big festival with Wu-Tang. Okay. And there was, it had to have been over 100,000 people there. So mm -hmm. that was pretty cool to go on stage and, you know, <laughs> see some of those things. And then, you know, a another great thing was getting to share the moment of winning an Emmy with my yeah. parents. Um, I mean, it, it was pretty funny because I, I, I started bawling, crying, and uh, it was it was cool to have my dad and mom there, and um, you know, let them see me go on stage. And of course, I'm I'm crying backstage. And when when you win an Emmy, they rush you off stage, and then yeah. you go in front of this huge press wall. So there's hundreds of press outlets taking pictures and yelling mm -hmm. your name, and I don't know any of them, but they all know all all of your different. Yeah. So I, I don't know any of them, but they all know your your name. So people are screaming your name, and I'm still crying because I have no clue. And yeah. of course, all the photographers are like, "Yeah, more crying." <laughs> yeah, so, they want to get you like that. Yeah. Well, you know, that's real, and that's all yeah. part of it too. Absolutely. What is it? What is the first moment like when you hear, you know, you being called? You know that you're winning an Emmy for the first time. I mean, you've got multiple after that. Yeah. But what were the thoughts? What were the feelings that were going through your mind and body at that time? Yeah, I was so nervous. Um, you know, it, it's an honor to be nominated. I know it sounds so cliche, but it really is to, mm -hmm. to be nominated in a category of five or six people. Yeah. Um, you know, that's the nomination is a win, but um, you just get really nervous. Yeah. Um, I remember closing my eyes and holding my breath and just hoping they called the bay. And, yeah. You know, and then when you get caught, when you get called, yeah. it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> the it's, deer in uh, headlights, yeah. but you want to run, but you're kind of yeah. yeah. Um, and you go up on stage, and you know we we have the the creator of the show is the one that does the speech, and it's mm -hmm. it's really an honor, and, and it's it's overwhelming yeah. with um, excitement and just craziness, <laughs> a million things going on through your head. Exhilaration and the adrenaline just yeah. must be flowing. I, I don't know because I've never received <laughs> one. Well, I'm sure that you will be receiving many more. So I'm I, sure that you're going to be feeling that I feeling so. and moment many times over. Jared, can you please share with us your social media so that we sure, can follow sure. your Sure, um, sure. You can check me out on Instagram and Twitter, just Jared Safier. It's my first name, last name. Uh, I also have Safier Entertainment, uh, the, which is my company, on the same. Um, Facebook, I have 600 pages. I don't know, I have tons. I have, <laughs> okay. I have Jared Safier, my producer page, my personal page, mm -hmm. two personal pages. Um, I have pages for all my, my movies. I have Safier Entertainment page. I have a Safier Management Group page. I mean, we can find you. So we yes. can find you, definitely. Yes, absolutely. Jared Safier, it was such an incredible honor to meet you oh, today you. and be sure this uh, with you today. So definitely yeah. much success to you in the future. I know you're going to be receiving many more of these. So congratulations to you. I hope so. Look forward to seeing you again. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. It was thank you. really a pleasure. Thank you.